Alright, what is going on guys, Infant here, and today I bring you guys a new type of video. Um, obviously there is some Black Ops 2 gameplay in the background. I wanted to hop on the 360, play a couple games, I prestiged on Black Ops 2, I wanted to rank up. Um, and I went 33, yeah, let's see, yeah, 33 and, you know, 30 and 2 this game. That's what I went, yeah, 30 and 2, that's what I went. Uh, I just went off. I was 3 away from a nuclear, and I choked it, I failed, I was so mad. I didn't look at the leaderboards. Um, until after I died and I was 27-0, and 0, oh, I was just so mad, I couldn't believe it. But today I'm doing a different type of video. I'm going to be doing uh, mainly a commentary with face cam, which is the gameplay in the background. I might put a couple cuts here and there, I don't really know. But I'm going to be telling you guys something I never thought I'd be saying. So, taking a shower is a little annoying, you know. You're thinking, whoa, whoa, whoa. You don't like taking showers, that's just weird, man. you got to keep clean. But, hear me out. So I live in the country, and our water we get out here, it's it doesn't come from it, like in town or something. We get our own water from rain or from the snow melting. We get our own water for like the shower, and it goes into our well. And we get a lot of iron in our water out here because we live out in the country. So we have to, you know, it goes through our water filter. And there's this rod in the water filter that we have to take out. Because if you don't take the, the rod out of this water filter, it will make the water filter rust within a year to maybe two years. And we had to keep buying water filters, so my dad got tired of buying them, so we had to take the rod out this time. And he just bought one and put it in the other day, and I helped him actually. You know, I actually did something besides play video games to help my dad put a water heater in. But anyway, so it makes the water smell like rotten eggs. Like, there's nothing wrong with the water. It just smells, and like, if I get out of the shower and I, you know, I smell myself, I don't smell like rotten eggs or anything. I just, I smell like, just normal. Um, so when I, it doesn't really affect the way you smell, just the way it affects the water smells in the shower. So it's really gross to take a shower sometimes, like, if I'm like, having my head done like this, and I'm like, washing the shampoo out of my hair, it really, you get that, you're just, your head's in the water, your nose is in there, and it just really stinks, and it's, ugh. It's just terrible. But it, it, the only good thing is, I guess, that it doesn't affect the way that I smell. It just, you know, the water is the only thing that smells. And that actually reminds me of another story I have to tell you real quick. I think I was in first or second grade, one of the two. You know, yeah, first or second grade. And I have a bathroom right out beside my door and to the right. Uh, but at the time, I didn't use that bathroom except, you know, you go to the bathroom. to so like to take a bath. I took baths at the time because I liked to play. I remember that. And I would just use my parents' bath because it was a lot bigger and I could have more toys in there. And I, you know, I had my little toys on plate or whatever. But I, you know, I was like, okay, you know, I'm going to use my bathtub. I haven't used it in a while. I want to use my bathtub. So I turned the water on. The curtain is about, I just opened the curtain a little bit just so I can reach the handles to turn the water on to get it running warm or whatever. And I... I go get my towel, put it down on the toilet seat, because the toilet's right beside the bathtub, and I pull the curtain back all the way, and there's a freaking dead mouse floating around in the water. It's not alive, which, thankfully, it wasn't alive. It was dead, so that was good. But the thing is, just thinking about it is kind of mean, I guess, because just think, it got up in there, and it, it climbed somehow, and I'm guessing it climbed on the cloth, the shower curtain, got in and couldn't get out because the curtain on the inside is not shy. It's like a, a smooth kind of surface. Like I couldn't get its claws in to climb up and get out, which I'm kind of glad it died in there instead of coming in my room or something. But it it was it died in there. And a funny thing is my dad said he was on the toilet one day and he thought he heard um, a mouse in the wall trying to get out or scratch or trying to climb on something. And it was probably in the bathtub right next to him while he was you know, taking a crap, because we never used it, so there was no way we would know until someone went to use that bathtub. But, um, anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy those two little stories, you know. I thought they were pretty good, and last one was kind of funny a little bit. I hate mice, though, that's the thing. I just hate mice. But anyway, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new. And as always, see you guys in my next video.